Hello, I'm Kate, and this is the first episode of the Knit Crochet and Spinning Podcast, Chain 344. And uh, this is my lovely (laughs) co-host, Carolyn. And uh, (laughs) we are going to uh, show off some works in progress. We're going to talk about finished objects. We're going to talk about trips that we're about to take. And um, first... We're going to talk about our our sort of background with uh, yarny, lovely goodness. Uh, do you want to go ahead and start that off, Carolyn? Sure. I have been crocheting since I was six, and I just recently learned to knit about almost two years now. Oh. And it's very exciting to be challenged in a new way after crocheting for so long. <laughs> do you uh, if- still, like crochet best do you have a preference i can't talk about it because i feel like i'm cheating on my first love (laughs) (laughs) No, i like like them for different things Mm -hmm. i think the the garment construction and the flat lines of knitting i just it's still kind of a new challenge it's intriguing Mm -hmm. to me crocheting it's just i mean it's like i can literally do it when i'm sleeping Mm mm-hmm so if I need to make something fast or I need to make a stuffed animal, <laughs> right? I go to crocheting. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I have not been crocheting since I was six. I learned <laughs> <laughs> in, like, high school, um, a mutual friend of ours, Jessie, taught me how to knit. And uh, I remember her saying that she taught me because... Uh, I was the only one of her friends that would keep doing it, she said. <laughs> um, that sounds like her. I think, it, I think it was either the last year of junior high or the first year of high school. Um, so I've been knitting since then. And um, I learned to crochet probably freshman year of college, maybe senior year of high school, I forget. Um, and then I... My mom got me a spinning wheel uh, for uh, college graduation as a as a gift, and it's like one of my most treasured possessions now. Um, so I've been spinning for about two years. But you were doing drop spindle before yeah, because I, was. I remember hanging out and you were spinning toilet paper and cotton balls, yes. and I was like, "You've got to be kidding me." <laughs> Yeah, and it was hideous. <laughs> I just, that was, I was still in high school. We met in high school, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we did. We're, we're <laughs> big nerds. And I just remember being like so disgusted because I had never spun anything before. And here's Kate making this beautiful toilet paper no, cotton ball. It was oh, awful. In my it, mind, it was lovely. I, I found that uh, cotton ball yarn several years later, like, fairly recently. It was, like, shoved away in the basement at my mom's house somewhere, and it was hideous. (laughs) But at the time, I was so, like, amazed that it was even happening. So (laughs) It's a thing. It's possible. Like, people can... You can spin newspaper. I've seen people do that. Uh, That's beyond me. (laughs) What would you use it for? I don't... mm. Couldn't tell you. I'm sure that there's a that there is valid use, but eh, valid <laughs> something that you don't want to wear on your body. Well, I'll be comfortable saying that. <laughs> well, I did crochet an award-winning dress out of plastic bags in high school. So. <laughs> I remember that. I remember you cutting all of those Walmart bags apart, and. Driving yourself insane. Hours. Hours. <laughs> it won an award, though. That's Good. Good. <laughs> you you deserved it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. My parents still have it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> parents are wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Well, your mom kept your toilet paper thing. I'm not sure that she kept it on purpose. It was just sort of like... I don't know, tossed in a box somewhere that I happened to cross when I was moving stuff out. It oh, it was not, like, 
displayed in a place of commemoration. Sure. sure, you just don't want the internet to know how beautiful your toilet paper yarn was. It'll be seeking you out. Mm. I'll pass on that one. <laughs> well, uh, do we want to uh, move on to uh, our current works in progress? Go for it. Whip it. Okay. Um, I've got an insane amount of works in progress. I'm one of those people that, like, I start something and then put it in a box and it waits for, like, years and then I forget that it exists. Yes. Um, so, like, beyond what I've got here ready to show, I've got a mystery number of works in progress that will just, you know... Ballpark it. Ballpark it. We need to know. Um... So, yeah, okay. I I normally have that many, like <laughs> the, the mystery number, the mystery number, an infinite possibility number of works in progress. Um, the first thing I've got to show is this uh, bobbin Made toilet paper. No, this is a border lester uh, wool. From raw fleece. Oh, I should have grabbed the raw fleece to show that off because it is so pretty. Um, and I'm I'm not doing anything to process it. I'm not combing it or carding it or anything. I'm just really? I'm finger picking it. No and, way. And it is so much easier for me. I don't. Seriously? Yeah. Um, and I don't know if it's how this. Uh, raw fleece that I've got uh, came to me because it was kind of like left for a while and when I got it it was pretty compacted and so it's not like individual locks anymore. Oh, okay. Um, So finger picking I found is the best way and I get the least amount of waste because when I was trying to comb it it was just like not happening. Yeah, so many like gross knots and stuff that were just completely unusable. Um, so anyway, uh, this is... Uh, let's see if I can get my camera to focus on that. Let um, me get my face up in here. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Uh, so I am Ugh, ready delicious. to take this off of the bobbin and I just haven't yet. Um, ready to set the twist. Um, and then... You can apply it? I haven't decided whether I'm going to apply it or not. Because I've got, I've got on the spinning wheel, I've got, um, another bobbin going of a sort of tealy blue color. And I'm thinking I kind of want to apply this with that and do like the barber pole yeah. type yeah. thing. Yeah, you, you do. You do want to do that. It's... I can <laughs> Um, what I've got on the bobbin over there right now is, is some of this, and this is, Ooh. um, this is one of my finished objects, though, so I, I'm, I'm not, oh. I'm not gonna talk about that yet. <laughs> um, so that's work in progress, number one, because that needs to be, like, finished. It's, it's like weaving in all the ends that, you know, you just kind of don't want to do it. It's what you dread at the end of the project. I hate it. Yeah. Okay. And, um, so one of the, uh, works in progress that I found when I was, uh, sort of getting organized this morning is this shawl. And this is, um, I'm not sure how well this is showing up here. Um, this is a Malabrigo sock. Yeah. Um, I was just covering up my microphone. How stupid. I don't know if that, um, no hurt no. anything. Nope. Um, the, uh, pattern is called Ashton. It's by D. O'Keefe. Um, oh, I believe- we can link that stuff in the description, oh, too. Oh, we totally should. Oh, we're Along- so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, I don't even know what colorway this is, but, um... Mm. I'm starting on the bordery parts. Ooh. Um, and, like, I just found this. I was like, oh, here's a shawl that's, like, over halfway done. 
at the bottom of a box. Yeah. <laughs> um, whatever. Were those white lines in it lifelines, or is that yeah. just a white row? Okay. Yeah, they're lifelines, because, I mean, it's not like it was hard. I just expected myself to stop paying Add- attention at some point. Add 10 stitches somehow. Yeah, magic- I mean, that happens. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Malabrigo sock. It's really nice. It's, um, I would say next to the skin. I mean, it's not the softest yarn I've ever touched, but it's good. It's mm-hmm. good, good shawl yarn, good sock yarn. And do you wash your stuff before blocking? Do you do like a soak wash? Like a eucalyptus? Um, Never. If, if I'm going to do anything, I put hair conditioner in. And I'm not sure if that's, so, like, um, approved. No I've, <laughs> I've heard, no, I've heard that before, that people do that. I mean, only, I, f- only for wool, because, like, it doesn't make sense on anything else. And it probably doesn't even really make sense for superwash. But, um, but for wool, I, I just do, like, a tiny bit of hair conditioner in lukewarm, cool water. Um, and then kind of roll it into a towel and, Mm -hmm. and mush it so that it's just slightly damp and then, and then do the blocking. Um, I mean, and I don't, I don't even always do that because I'm mostly 100% lazy so if it doesn't yeah. need, if it doesn't absolutely need blocking, I normally don't block. I'm just gonna go ahead and put myself out there as a super lazy person, right? From the get go here. <laughs> I you know, blocking doesn't make any sense to me for some things. Right. Hats. Yeah. Like no. when you put it on your head, it's gonna get stretched out right to the point anyway. Like or socks, like I don't understand blocking nope. socks unless nope. they're not they're foot shaped when you make them. Unless they're lace ones, I can see lace ones, and you're giving them as a gift for sure. Yeah, yeah, lace all, almost always needs to be blocked unless it's like super huge. It always needs to be blocked. Yeah, but yeah, most things. Not gonna lie, one hundred percent lazy. <laughs> Confession. Never do gauge swatches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ever. yeah. I mean, I sometimes do for garments that need, that I want fitted. I honestly have never done one in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> I can admit. <laughs> All right. So we're, uh, we're, uh, super, super duper, like, on the ball and do all the things that you're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, everyone should watch this. We are just the shining light in the world of professional actors. <laughs> yup. And, um, let's see. What's my next thing? Oh, God, my hexapuffs. Oh, <sighs> God, my hexapuffs. Can I, like, I don't have that many. I'm not a crazy person, but I've got... I did a, a triple one. <laughs> oh. It's so cute! You can do them like that? What? Yeah. You can just keep going? You can just keep going. (laughs) They're the cutest things ever. And and I'm doing them mostly in um, uh, cool colors with really no rhyme or reason. Um, Like this... Oh god, I don't even know what yarn this is anymore. It's... It's in the living room. Whatever. Um... This is a Crystal Palace Jojo something, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rhythm. Jojo yeah, Rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally bought some of that on sale. Love so. it. Love it. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, This is some alpaca. It's fuzzy. It's got a little halo on this one. I don't know if you can see. Totally. Um, Looks like a little dust bunny. <laughs> And here's some of the Malabrigo sock, the same as the shawl. And, like, I just, I've got, this one's got stripes. (laughs) Oh my gosh, stop. (laughs) You gonna Um, do little argyles on them? Oh, that would be, that would be wonderful. 
or anyway. the Star Trek uniforms. <gasps> Did you see that one? Yeah, I think he sent that to me. Yeah. And you've just reminded me that it exists, so... I know what's happening tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna show them all. I don't really have that many, um, but... In this bag. <laughs> <laughs> there are probably some hanging out somewhere. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole blanket. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do, uh, uh, seat covers for my dining room chairs. Cause that's think, more manageable. I think you want to do the whole blanket, though. Well, I mean, I want to in my heart. But whether Go. I want to with my with my uh, realistic brain, I'm not sure. <laughs> the lazy brain. <laughs> yeah. The lazy brain always wins. If Let's I would have known you could just do tubes of them, it's like, <laughs> dude, you could just make them forever. <clears throat> yeah. The one the ones I've seen on Ravelry that that do the multiple in a row, I yeah. haven't liked because they um, just sort of, like, decreased, decreased mm -hmm. down to ten mm -hmm. at the seam. Or, well, without creating a seam, and then started increasing oh, again. But I, I, yeah, I made a seam there. Like, I decreased down to ten, and then got back onto one needle, and mm -hmm. then increased double yeah. to, to get back up to two needles. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense with the words, but... Well, I mean, I've but, seen the pattern. Some random bystander who's never seen the pattern is like, what? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so these, they're totally separated. So the polyfill from one is never going to travel into the next one. Which... Like little bubble wraps. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm filling mine with uh, polyfill, so they're wonderful. I'm not stuffing them with lavender. Some people are doing that, I guess. And that just seems like it'd make it crunchy. I don't know. They're... Lavender is kind of crunchy when it gets dry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it smells wonderful, but... I'm just using up the last of my lavender soap I made. Ooh. <laughs> Lovely. Um, let's see. Okay, so I've got, I've got two more works in progress. This one... Is um, what is that? This is a my blanket, or, or I oh mean, my. it's not as big as a blanket right now. But is that on screen right? I can't see yeah. through it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's right. Um, it's fish. This is crocheted. The pattern is um, rings of change. I did not look up who it's by, but every row is a different stitch pattern. Every stripe. I is a completely different stitch pattern. So you never get bored, which, love. yeah, I, I absolutely love that. The yarn I'm using is, uh, uh, Cascade fingering. Um, uh, I don't know what colors they are. It's like a navy blue, a turquoise, um, gray and black. Cool. And, I love working on this because it, like, even though the, the rows are getting really big and the stitches, like, there's a huge stitch count, every yeah. row's different, so I don't get bored. And normally every row by itself is pretty mindless, so it's good TV stitching. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. um I think that's all, like, I, Rings of Change... I said that cascade yep. fingering. Yep. yep. Okay. My last one, my last work in progress, is what I'm calling the Franken sweater. <laughs> is this the one you found? Yes. Yes. This is all, yeah another pattern I just found in a box. Um, I cast it on probably close to three years ago, and then. It's just been forgotten somewhere. And uh, so I found it. And I started working on it again pretty recently. And I kept, I like, I, I, this is, I was texting you about this a, yeah. a little while ago about how insane 
the pattern was. This is not a pattern. This is something that I wrote. And at the time, I must have been just like, I don't know, hallucinating or <laughs> on drugs or something. I don't do drugs, Ugh. but <laughs> I, I was... Disclaimer. I, yeah, I, uh, I was not in my right mind because all, all of the instructions that I wrote said something along the lines of do X thing until long enough. No indication at all what long enough was. Do jumping jacks until long enough. <laughs> like, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so when I pulled this out again, I just... Like, I got, I, well, I was working on it. I was working on it. And I was like, this is probably what I meant here. And so I was, like, working on it bit by bit. And then I'd measure it and be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd work on it a little bit more and, <laughs> and measure myself and then measure this. Like, and then I finally realized how insane this was. And stopped and I was like okay I need to put this on my body and figure out where it is and what is happening it's like a sneed <laughs> in the Lorax yeah and so I I put it on and I don't know I don't know what was happening when I was inventing the measurements is it bad it's 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 not bad it's just I I either did not measure correctly, oh no, or I uh, I had a um, misunderstanding of anatomy, or I <laughs> I is it possible you were making it for someone else? No, this was for me. This was definitely for me because I remember that part of it. <laughs> okay, or or I I may perhaps have had a. Um, uh, mistaken self-perception in regards to how perky my boobs are. <laughs> so... Oh, boy. Um, what had happened was I... Well, and the construction of this is just stupid to begin with because I cast on at, at the underbust and then I Wait, a, I did a provisional cast on at the underbust what? to work up, and then I was gonna pick up stitches along the provisional cast on and work down. <laughs> Why is it gonna be like super flared, like a yeah, like a yeah, dress? like I don't know. So anyway, I cast on, and so I did a like a ribbed thing at at the underbust to oh, to do like a, like like a, a here type thing yeah 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 okay and see that's <clears throat> that's cool and then i did like an inch and then i started my armhole shaping so oh it, well and then there's a the bust dart in here too like okay so what? here's my bust dart okay and then and then the armhole shaping started right there and like so i apparently thought that my armpit was only one inch higher than my boob like boob armpit that's like that's a long way away yeah uh... <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking and so what i have done in the meantime and I don't know how stupid this is or how stupid it's going to look, but I picked up stitches along the armhole shaping mm -hmm. and then knit for a while and then did armhole shaping again <laughs> so that there's this, like, little patchy guy right here. Little seams. Yeah. And I don't know how visible it's going to be and I don't know how stupid it's going to look. I mean, it's nope. the same on both sides, so it'll look like I did it on purpose, right? It's totally intentional. <laughs> right? I don't know. Totally. <laughs> so, and then also the stupid thing is that I was going to do a uh, Queen Anne neckline. Is that the right 
name, I forget. Um, I think it's a Queen Anne's neckline or Queen Anne neckline or something. Is it really <clears throat> tall? Um, it's it's one that goes sort of like oh flat and then yeah. Yeah. and then like that. But like, I didn't do it enough, so it's just gonna look like a regular uh, sort of not scoop neck, like mm-hmm. more. Um, True. Yeah. I don't know. How many necklines can we name? I don't know. All all of them, it's going to look like that, not the one I wanted. <laughs> okay, so... So that's what I'm working on right now. And, I mean, it's fun, because I'm just sort of, like, making it up as I go. And that's, you know, fun to me, because, like... Yeah. Yeah, I'll uh, bind off some stitches over here. It'll be fun. Adventure! <laughs> right? It's so, like a choose your own adventure. Yeah, it's like a choose your own stitches sweater. switch pe- sweater pattern. Yeah, um, make it up. Yeah, so I'm I'm having fun with that, and I'm having fun with the uh, rings of change blanket as well because that's structured <laughs> to not make it up as you someone go. else wrote. The <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's it's good to have that for kind of mindless TV netting, and it's good to have that to have something to focus on or so. to be really angry about <laughs> right <laughs> just perplexed <laughs> more perplexed than angry i think like, yeah i don't yeah. even know what was happening i know i know what you mean looking back at old patterns i've written i'm kind of like <laughs> what what does this mean is this in english <laughs> yeah. well like i've developed Over the years, I've developed kind of a shorthand for my crochet patterns, at least, Mm -hmm. that I totally understand. Like, I've got it down to a science now. Mm -hmm. But some of my early attempts at figuring out that shorthand, like, it's like, you know, patterns have the abbreviations. I use the normal abbreviations, but I have, like, Carolyn abbreviations. (laughs) Because, like, I don't want to sit there and write out the exact row Uh every time I like have this little chart that I make and I just like scribble it in. Mm -hmm. And then if I'm going to sell the pattern, I go and I type it and make it for normal people. (laughs) But my early ones, it's like, yeah, do it till it's long enough. Right. (laughs) Or like, I'm sure at the time you had the number in your head and you knew what long enough was, but three years later, right. It's a mystery. <laughs> or or I'll draw a picture for the row. It's not like a chart. It's like I drew a cylinder. It's like we're on Blue's Clues, and I found the second clue, <laughs> and it's a cup. And I'm... <laughs> that's oh that's where gosh. we're at with my old That's awesome. <laughs> Do you have good... any... <laughs> Do you have any uh, works in progress at the moment? I have one, which wow. is totally freaking me out. <laughs> like, I'm like you normally. I've got like eight things going. I will admit, I did find a blanket that I was working on that I have come to terms with. It's really pretty. It's never going to be done. <laughs> I can't. I can't get rid of it because I love it. Hmm. The um, African flower hexagon motif it's so pretty the Mm -hmm. colors i picked for the internet people we've moved a bunch my husband and i so i just did a mega purge of yarn and projects that were half done that were never going to be finished so it's really scary to have one thing yeah i i uh i'm surprised at that that must be uh you must be itching to cast on something new Yeah, I am. I am. And I just got a ton of new patterns from a trade I did with someone that I'm really excited to try that I'll probably cast on this week. Mm. Just because. But this is my first sweater. It's inside out right now. (laughs) I'm knitting it inside out because it's supposed to be all pearl stitches on the outside. But it's got this cool diagonal line in it. It's the briquette pattern by Two Little Plums on Ravelry. Cool. It's like $6. It's not a freebie. So far, I love it. There are a couple places where the instructions are a tiny bit vague, but Mm -hmm. 
I chalk that up to Carolyn not knowing how to make sweaters. <laughs> I made my son a sweater. He's a baby. <laughs> so it doesn't it's, really count. It's like for a me. trial sweater. <laughs> yeah. It turned out cute, but I don't know how to make real people sweaters. <laughs> but I am kind of annoyed because the picture for the pattern, my printer was out of color ink. But you can tell that, that that's all the information you get. Lovely. Yeah, very it's informative. A and a wrist. And there's a ton of pictures <clears throat> on Ravelry. Mm-hmm. Which is fine if I'm like by my laptop. But that's the only fun. one in the in the actual pattern. Yeah. Oh my only, gosh. Only one. Yes. Wow. That's well, we have, super we have helpful. Logo. It's really light. So that's another picture, I guess, that counts. <laughs> but not of the sweater. Wow. <laughs> yeah, which I thought was a little strange. Yeah, that's really kind of weird. Yep. The only place that I got a little confused that I will show you my boo-boo is for the waist shaping, which I just finished afterwards. It has this note about when you're done with the waist shaping and you basically you add two more knit or purl stitches every round to get the diagonal line, depending on which way you have it facing. But Mm -hmm. it says, when you have reverse stockinette the entire round, meaning purled, flip your work inside out so that you are now working in stockinette again. And in my mind, I just went, you just flip it and you just go and it's fine. And Mm -hmm. you don't have to do anything. You don't need a wrap and turn. Because I was kind of like, should I do one? If I ought to have, it should have been in the pattern, right? Right, right. <clears throat> and so you can see mm. my hole. Mm. It's not oh, that's that. that's a sad tough. hole. It is, and it really frustrates me. And I should have gone back and fixed it at the time, but it'll be easy to stitch up. And it's under an arm, so. Oh, yeah, you won't even see it. Way less <laughs> visible than my, my uh, <laughs> armpit patches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to see, like, because <clears throat> just seeing it in the video, I don't have, like, a real grasp of even what's happening. <laughs> I don't know if it'll get much better in real life. Yeah, I mean, I just, I hope it won't look okay. So right. There may be an awkward cut there, but uh, yeah. we're we're still going. <laughs> we're professionals. Yeah. Oh, the yarn I'm using for this is called Nuna, and it's merino silk bamboo Mm. i think that sounds really nice really drapey yes it is and that's kind of what i'm going for this is a really cozy like hoodie slouchy campfire Mm. type pattern nice that sounds wonderful yeah and i can't i'm not allergic to wool but i just can't handle it really close to my skin for long periods of time yeah so i'm excited this one's not really it doesn't. It feels like silk mostly. Mm-hmm. Even if it's not. It's a small percentage. But yeah, cool. So that's my one, one work. Lots of things in my brain. Yeah, yeah. As always. Yeah. There's always like, a, even even more than the infinity number of uh, mystery projects that exist, there are infinity more projects. That's why I don't use my cue in Ravelry yeah. at all. No, I think either. I might have put one thing on there, but I know I'm like this is a tool for making me a hoarder. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I I use my favorites in Ravelry. Yeah. Like most people use their queue. Like, ooh, I like this. I like this. I like this. And so when I'm trying to figure out a project to do, I'll go through my favorites rather yeah. than. And really, I don't. I don't even do that very often. I go through the. Um, uh, recently added mm-hmm. patterns on Ravelry to see if there's anything that gets my brain going. Yeah, and then I I either decide to uh, get the pattern or figure it out myself, which always goes brilliantly. Frank and sweater. <laughs> sweater. Yeah, it goes exactly like that. <laughs> Getting to the point where I'm feeling slightly confident enough that I can just invent my own knitting things. Mm-hmm. Hoping. We'll see. 
after this sure, sweater. Be sure to be slightly, just a little bit more um, specific than knit <coughs> until long enough. <laughs> I've learned. I, I will. I will try. <laughs> Told you about my skills. It's like Pictionary pattern writing with Carolyn. <laughs> All right, yeah. do you want to uh, show off some recent finished objects? Sure. I have... These are, like, my most recent exciting finished objects. Mm. My socks for myself. Oh, finally, socks for yourself. Yeah. I, really, I have not made that many socks, but yes. <laughs> I made for... Last last Christmas, I made my aunt and my her son, my cousin, a pair of socks, mm -hmm. and they both loved them. And my cousin, who is a teenage boy, outgrew his. Oh no! So I made some this year, I made him an IOU mm -hmm. and finished them like in January. Made him more socks, which he loved. And then I was like, I don't have any socks. <laughs> And I have bought this yarn on Super Uber Mega Sale. It's Regia by Scheffenmeyer. I've heard people talking about that, and people seem to love it. So, And I had never heard of it. I've never seen it, even. So, There was this discount warehouse store in Utah called NPS. So mm. if anyone's watching from Salt Lake City, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They, you could buy a bathtub, or you could buy yarn, or tools. My husband would go look at tools, and I would go look at the yarn, and I found this there for, like, $4. Sweet. It is, like, I don't remember, I think it's 30, 70, 30% wool, 70% polyamide, mm. which... Good for socks. Yeah, it's good for socks, but I was hoping for a little more wool, even though I just said I don't like wool against my body because these are super stretchy oh wow yeah <laughs> like mega mega stretchy which i was kind of expecting more snug because uh -huh. i did them on bigger needles oh yeah they're still comfy good happy with them they look Fleal very comfy heel Fleal. yes can't hope you can tell oh uh, i can't quite see this stitches on there it's just my webcam is stupid so yeah <clears throat> yep. or my 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 video feed is stupid not it's fine <laughs> you know what i mean yes Mental. i got you um so yeah that's my most recent cool i have other stuff i could pull out but i'll do it another time <laughs> um i have i have two to show off one is my my yarn that I pulled out earlier. This is, um, I don't know, kind of a worsted -y weight. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not super great. I'm not fully pleased with it. It's all right. Oh, darn. You should give it to me. <laughs> it's, it's only 122 yards. Um, so it's not even that much, but I have my, I have fancy, uh, card to go with it. Ooh! I hope that shows up. Uh, yeah, the proper direction on the it, video. It but... it did good on for me. Um, did you make those tags? Yeah. Um, I used Avery business card. Nice singer. I don't know what it was, but yeah, the perforated ones that are yeah super easy to print at home. Um, yeah. Um. So, uh, the, the, it was, um, comb top and it's called, uh, potluck roving. I think I've got the card over here. Potluck roving by Ferndale fiber. Cool. Um, I think Misty I got it on Amazon. Misty mountain. Misty mountain. Yeah. It's really pretty. I really like the color. It's, um, sort of tonal. Um, so it's a semi-solid, uh, yarn, which I really like. Um, and I think I spun this, 
Okay, my fa uh, Kromsky Fantasia is the spinning wheel I have, and the uh, the only the world that it comes with, and the only world that I had, uh, is a five and eight to one ratio, which is super slow, like mega super slow. Um, so that's what I did this on, and it's hard to do anything finer because the whirl is so big. Um, mm. So I recently got the the next size faster whirl, um, mm. which is 10 and 14 to 1. So that should be better. Um, so yeah, I finished that recently. Not sure what's going to happen with that. I probably will bring it to you. And, <laughs> and we can do a swap or something. Yeah, you can um, go for my yarn drawer <laughs> um and my other finished object which i finished today is this cowl um Ooh. which is a just the kind of really chunky cabled yeah. thing um and this is uh malabrigo worsted i kind of nice. love malabrigo for everything oh my gosh it's so nice so cuddly <laughs> it's one of the wools that i can handle mm -hmm. my skin yeah. Yeah, and I I love the singles, the uh, the worsted singles. Like they pill so bad, but I don't even care. Like <laughs> <laughs> I look past it. Yeah, I just I don't care. This is wonderful. It's way too uh, warm to wear this right now, but it's another thing that I cast it on a long time ago, and then it was done enough that I was like, I could totally finish that today. That doesn't need to just sit there anymore. <laughs> look at you. Yeah. Making stuff. Yeah. And this this is not a um, pattern. This is just a thing that I did. Uh, just some cables. Mm-hmm. So. I like it. I like it, too. I hope I remember that it exists come next winter. <laughs> yes. Hide it with your coat. That's a good plan. I like that plan. <laughs> Stick it in the sleeve. Yeah. There we go. I should go do that. So that's that's all I've got for um for finished objects cool. right now. Recent ones anyway. I mean I yeah. could pull out a million different things probably, right. but <laughs> let's <Hey>. not. <laughs> got a few that are like over there. But meh walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lazy. Yeah. The theme, my friends. One hundred percent lazy. That should be our tagline. <laughs> I don't know if we want to promote that we're really lazy people. <laughs> I did stuff today. I what? went out, planted some seeds in little peat pots. Aw. Cute. And <laughs> built a chicken coop? Yeah, but that was mostly Caleb. <laughs> it was a lot of me trying to run an impact uh, wrench and being really bad at it while holding plywood up in the wind. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> With our son laughing at us. It was, it was fun. It was. I'm just excited about chickens. Yay! <laughs> we need pictures when you when you get the chickens. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's going to be so many chicken pictures. <laughs> I'm going to make them sweaters. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> Please, People do that, we... though. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, why thing. wouldn't you? No, it, like, literally, it's a thing. Chicken sweaters are a thing. I can't it's, see why not. It's it sounds keep, adorable. It's cute. It's to keep <laughs> them from, like, ripping their feathers out before they're taken oh. for show. Oh, that makes sense. So they just peck the sweater that you spent four hours knitting them? <laughs> I don't know. I like watching videos of people trying to put sweaters on chickens. <laughs> <laughs> also, chickens can swim. One of my friends texted me that, like, last week at 2 a.m. She's like, go look it up right now. <laughs> and I did, and I'm glad. <laughs> Worth your time. So, uh, anybody who's watching your homework, go Google chickens swimming. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of them on YouTube. They're super cute. I think there's <laughs> one called Roxy Goes for a Swim. She's a really cute chicken. That sounds adorable. Yeah. It's... That's... That's what I'm going to do when we're done filming, is go look up <laughs> swimming on YouTube. <laughs> and I, putting my uh, cowl in my coat. I have yes. to remember that as well. Two things. Two homeworks. Two homeworks. I'll do it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. You can't look up chickens until you put it in your coat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Carolyn. <laughs> but I'm a slave driver. That's why we got that chicken coop built, because I was there going, build that coop. <laughs> Okay, so um, since we're done with finished objects, um, the next thing that we should talk about is the Minnesota Yarn Shop Hop. Oh, I'm so excited. Which we are attending next weekend, um, April 10th through 12th. Or it's actually it, the 9th it, through the 12th. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we're... We're going to do, like, a super concentrated version and go to all 17 shops in two days with my mom. Who is and- lovely. She's a lovely woman. Oh, she's so fun. Yeah, We're going to turn her. We're going to make her knit. <laughs> Shouldn't say turn. Make her buy craft shoe wool. Yeah. Is, she, cool. is she only crochet? Is she that- does know how to knit, but... Like, she, she crochets a ton. Mm-hmm. But her knitting, like, when I was little, I didn't know she knew how to knit. Mm. Like, I crocheted forever. She could crochet. My grandma taught me to crochet, her mom. Mm-hmm. So, like, crocheting like, it was a thing. I didn't mm-hmm. even think about you can do other things. So one day, she came home with this book that I actually stole from her last time <laughs> I was visiting. It's about knitting hats. And there are these really cute, stupid-looking baby hats. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm going to make a hat. I'm like, you know that's a knitting book, right? She's like, I can knit. (laughs) (laughs) And she cast on and got, like, five rows Uh for this little baby hat done. I never saw her knit again. (laughs) It wasn't... I, yeah, I don't know if she finished the hat and I just never saw it or what. It's kind of a mystery. <laughs> she just pretends it, it didn't exist. It didn't happen. <laughs> I never asked her about it, but I, like, never saw it again. Huh. We bought a knitting, like, a sweater machine once, the the loom with mm-hmm. the shuttle that you run across. Don't buy one. Just My, don't. uh... My uh, spouse's mom has one as well, and she she's also a crocheter mm-hmm. and uh, has the, the machine knitting thing. And, like, I just, I have never seen or heard of her actually using it, and uh, I've made I don't things understand up. the point of them. They just, it rolls so much, it jams like nobody's business, oh. it... It was frustrating because, like, it seems really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I'm going to loom something, kind of. Knit loom. Yeah. Sweater loom. Loom knitting, on the other hand, I can understand that. My aunt got really into it. I I understand the the appeal of it, but actually doing it, is so frustrating to me. It's so slow when mm-hmm. I could just knit in the round a... yeah. yeah, so much faster. Especially yeah. on big old needles. Like, I don't know. It just seems silly to me. She's making a blanket. She's got one of, like, the rectangly ones. Oh, dang. Hers is actually cool. She's doing, like, textured stitch. It kind of looks like star stitch. Hmm. It's actually pretty. It's not like the creepy make a tube and then you gather it at the top and you have a hat. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It's... And that's, that's you know, like everybody's go-to thing hey. on those. And I just, yeah, like, <laughs> you could be making something that you'd be so much happier with. Yeah. If you, yeah. But yeah. it is anyway. learner friendly, so. Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Minnesota. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> all angsty about our sweater machine. Right. <laughs> yeah. So Minnesota mm-hmm. Shop Hop, you can follow them on Twitter at MN Yarn Shop Hop or on Facebook Minnesota Yarn Shop Hop. 17 shops are participating. And it's... there's all kinds of charity stuff. Yeah. Um, all, all of the shops have uh, 
a donation thing. You're supposed to donate either $5 or a $5 equivalent in... Um, Canned goods. Yeah, food. Uh, for... I forget which... They have three different to? pantries. There's three different citywide pantries. Okay. They're more like distribution centers. I looked one of them up. They're kind of like a distribution center that sends the food out to all the pantries gotcha. and stuff. Okay. Which is cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you uh, you donate your $5 when you go in, and then you get a stamp. And you get a stamp a regardless. Bead. Oh, okay. So that you get the bead when you donate your thing? Is that how it goes? Yeah, if you're one of the first 500 members and you donate your thing, you get a, like, stitch marker, special one. Mm. And they still request that you donate, even if you're not going to get free stuff. They have a pattern at each shop, a special pattern for that year. All the shops commissioned um, different local dyers to dye them specialty yarns the theme this year is inspired by amazing art so each shop is choosing an artist a movement a specific art piece to be inspired by and that's what their pattern and their yarn will kind of go off of cool very cool i'm excited i'm excited to see it too i'm i'm gonna get all kinds of new stuff and feel guilty about it because i don't have any more room for new stuff but but then you can you can just go through your closet like your clothing closet and get rid of clothes that's what i do when i buy stuff that's brilliant that's i get rid of clothes (laughs) old books or caleb's stuff no (laughs) i don't do that he would never know (laughs) because i'd probably pick something that i'd be like yeah he's not interested in this really important thing that he uses all the time Hey, Carolyn, where's my thing? (laughs) I don't know. It's gone. Why is the stove not here? (laughs) I got some yarn. (laughs) Why are there boxes of fiber in its place? (laughs) There's not. Don't. Shh. shh. (laughs) We're going on a special spending spree. (laughs) We're going to support only local businesses. Only takeout. (laughs) (laughs) You can you can definitely swing that in a way that makes it sound really good. <laughs> so um I, yeah. We're going to be uh filming some stuff while we're there, I think. Yep. Yep. And reporting back about all of the awesome places that we went and mm-hmm. the fun things that we did. And so that should be f- airing sometime after we get back yep that sounds really vague yeah Um, we should keep it vague because who knows right it's gonna happen yeah i mean we'll let you know yeah (laughs) plan plans are very vague right now well um just be completely open with that (laughs) yeah we we decided to do this two days ago Mm -hmm. after chatting on facebook Mm mm-hmm being like, we should do this. <laughs> and so here we are. Many, many uh, technical challenges later, but here we are. But we've surmounted them all. Yes. Yes. With help from spouse. <laughs> yep. yep. And um, so so I guess the only thing left is um, to plug our, our socials and uh, let Social people Social security numbers is yeah. what you for sure. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah is my social security number and go steal my identity. Don't do that. I don't have any money. <laughs> You'd have even less if they stole it. <laughs> um, so you have an Etsy shop. What yes, is I your do. your Etsy shop? My Etsy shop is last in line shop. And I'll put a link. Yes. Not in my lap, down in the description. All kinds of links will be down below for all of the things that we talked about. Yep. Um, And then I I have an Etsy shop, but I don't have anything in it, so I'm not going to bother to to plug my my link. Um, 
there will be there will be socials for the podcast. Uh, this... We haven't gotten those set up yet, but by the time this goes live, we probably will. Um, Me. <laughs> and there will be there will be links down below for that as well. Um, We're promising a lot of links. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, links are easy. This is a copy paste. Yeah, I mean, but a equals href HTML, whatever. Yeah, I don't think you even need to do that for for uh, YouTube's. Uh, um, we ain't fancy. <laughs> nah. Um. So we should have a G plus Facebook mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a Ravelry group group. Yeah, a Ravelry group and um, a Twitter. And so we'll... We decided to hate Instagram. Boo. Yeah, like, I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, my it's input words here, everyone. <laughs> like, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Super articulate. That's... Instagram. <laughs> like, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Sorry, Instagram. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've never used Instagram in my whole life, and same. I have nothing against it, like as a concept, but for me, I have no need. I post pictures on other stuff. Yeah, like Twitter. Yeah, there are a million different things that you can use to post a picture so that other people will see it, and it doesn't. You don't need to have a whole new platform to do that, right? I don't know. But there's filters on it. There's nothing else that has filters. You can't put filters on your pictures on anything but Instagram. Oh. I understand now. (laughs) People don't know how to Photoshop. (laughs) I mean, I can even put filters on the pictures, like, on my phone, right? Right? Right on my phone. I I will continue. No app needed. (laughs) You know... We're going to get this really string of hateful comments about why we're old people and hate Instagram. Yeah. Well, I mean, doomed from the start, I guess. (laughs) Hey, don't say that. It's recording both our audios now. Yeah, it is. It is working this time. It Uh... It muted me for a long time. Yeah said, Carolyn, you talk too much and wear too much green. I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> All right. Um, so I guess that's pretty much everything. Um, yep. Links. Links down below for all of the things. And um, we should hopefully be recording next week at some oh. point. Yeah. We'll have to see how many days of recovery I require after the shop hop. Right. But we will report back, and um, we'll see y'all then. Sounds good. Bye. Bye.